Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi and I am back with another Framework Manager tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about what is Parameter Maps, how to use it and why to use it in Framework Manager. So let's start with first question, what is Parameter Map? In brief, Parameter Maps is lookup tables or array. It contains key and value column pairs to perform lookup operation. So let me first create a parameter map and then we are going to use this parameter map inside our framework manager or query subject. So how to create a parameter map? For this you have to right click on parameter maps, click create and parameter map. I am going to create a parameter map for my language. Okay. And let's say language lookup. Next, you have two options whether you want to create it manually or you want to import all this key to value pair from a database or from a file or you can generate this from a existing query. Okay, so let me first show you the best the parameter maps on existing query items. And for this I'm going to rename it my first param map lookup okay click on next and let's say I want to create a map for currency and this is my currency lookup and I want let's say country code set as a key and currency in English as a value. Click on next and this is your first parameter map lookup is created and for the default value I want to give the default value to let's say I have a US dollar or not mm, no so let's say I want to give the default value Euro and I want default value to be 5507. Okay, finish. In our first parameter map lookups are created. You can edit it. So edit definition. Then you can edit the query. So edit the query. If you want something else, then let's say mm, conversion rate or oh, let's say you want a time dimension or time lookup then you can use set as a key and day date or day of month as a value oops I clicked on cancel sorry guys so let's say edit quickly let me time time dimension I want to this as a key and I want to this as a value okay so our time lookup is created Next, I want to create my parameter map manually. For this, you have to click on parameter maps, create and parameter map. And I want to give it, let's say don't change the name, click on next. And now you have two options. First, you can import everything from a file or you can manually create a key value pair. So let's say for key one, I want a value one or for two, I want or in other words let's say I have key M and for M I want this is a gender and for F I want female and let's say O for other so default value let's say M or not applicable no not applicable is or let's say not available NA and let's say default value is NA not available and your second parameter map is created successfully now in this example uh, you can use the case statement but 
for let's say you have lots of value then you have to use parameter maps and finally I want to show you how to create your parameter map using files so let me create a new parameter map and this time I'm going to name it language lookup manually enter the parameter keys in or import them from a file click on next and I want to import this from my file and my file is available just here so let me copy the path open my file my file is here language lookup open this okay and finally I got everything okay one thing you have to remember that your file is simple text file and let me open this in notepad so this is my file contents okay, let me close this and finally our language lookup is created and for default value I want English okay so this is my key and I want EN English finish and my language lookup is created and if you want to edit this then you can edit it letter as for your requirement okay no issue click on ok now in my previous video I showed you how to use session parameter now you have some limitation in session parameter okay what is the limitation let me show you what we did in our previous video in our previous video we used or we are creating a dynamic column using our session parameter done local now what if you have a column is not available for particular language okay right now we are generating the column simple we are generating a column okay let me open wordpad and right now we are generating column using run local so I want my column in this type okay English I want my column name in this time in this type and we are generating this using our macros at runtime based on the logged in user language preference now what if one of the user from countries where I am not supporting those language and in that scenario let's say I am not supporting French and my database table not contains column for French or my data layer also let's say product 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 brand and let's say we don't have a column for French then in this scenario my this solution is going to be fail this solution is going to be fail why because for French user the run local is going to return fr and my output column is fr and output string is fr and our query is going to generate it for product underscore brand underscore fr and this is not available in our database table so in this scenario our fm package or our query subject is going to be fail for this or to handle this scenario we are going to use parameter lookup let's say for particular scenario I don't have anything so I'm going to replace those in my parameter lookup let's say I had I don't have column for French then I'm going for key fr I'm going to change this fr into English and click on OK and now every time when I any French user is going to run the report then it always shows the column from product brand underscore English for French user is always going to show data in English it is acceptable why because I don't have any data for French user but the failing is not acceptable now how to use language lookup simple in our product query subject let me okay let and uh, we are not going to modify this we are going to modify our let's say product line English okay now I'm going to use
the same syntax which I used in project run. Now I'm going to replace everything up to here. Okay, and let me show you this in my wordpad so you are able to see it properly. So this is my previous code. This is my previous code for product brand. Now for product line, I'm going to use my parameter map. And how to use parameter map? For this, you have to use the name of your parameter map. And you can find all the available parameter maps in the parameter tab. And in parameter map, I want language lookup. Just place this here. So this is your parameter map and then you have to in this parameter map you have multiple values or multiple items then you have to use or you have to find something based on your key so my key is my done locale that's it this is the simple change in our previous and our current use okay so let me copy this here that's it click on ok and the expression is invalid so something uh, is wrong so let me no I don't want to save it but I want to check what is wrong here okay so it is just failing because of this and when we are going to rename it it will work fine so now we have two options first uh, our this syntax is correct now we have two options first either we can rename everything available here in such a way that the last stuff is in capital or we can rename everything inside this so let me change it quickly so it's CS or let me modify the file for this okay so I'm going to create quickly a backup for this continue and now I'm going to rename CS so control H CS to CS replace all okay finally everything is now I think correct everything in lowercase so let me refresh my language lookup so let me edit the definition of this I want to okay so just delete this mm -mm. edit and delete and okay and I want to create a new parameter map with same name and I want to import everything and this time my file is available on my desktop ok the default value for this is English finish this is my name and finally let's see whether it is going to resolve our product line issue or not yes finally our syntax is right just because of the case we are our this syntax is failing okay now it's time to execute our query and now we have product line in Japanese okay let me change my session parameter no 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 
let me change my session parameter back to English okay and right click test test sample and now my product brand and product line both are in English and let me modify my language lookup and for French FR I want this and let's say I think Japanese so you are able to see the difference now product test test sample and now we have product brand in English ok uh, we have to first change the value for parameter map fr ok and re-execute this query test sample and now this is product brand with previous code and this is product line with new code product brand we are here we are using session parameter only and in this we are using parameter map and session variable okay I hope now you are able to understand why we use parameter map and how to use in framework manager still you have any doubt just leave a comment I will try to reply as soon as possible with proper resolution steps so that's it for this video thank you for watching don't forget to click on subscribe and thumb up button and see you all in next framework manager tutorial video